Hello guys, welcome back here. A big day, a big, uh, yeah, it's a big day. You know, we have the weekly, monthly, quarterly, and half year close. Um, so we will just quickly check in on how things have done where they are. We will be looking at silver, gold, a little bit of Bitcoin, copper, platinum, palladium uh, has done well, ETFs. And all that just to see where we are in time here uh, uranium obviously also uh, started out great today and then chemico just got hit in the face um, typically well you see these you know rebalancing uh, kind of stuff here at the you know end of the first uh, half year uh, i think that goes on in many cases and then at the beginning of next um, half of, uh, half of the year you know the the, the big money managers they will reposition and all that so maybe that what's happened today but definitely the technicals on the short term for uranium it's not ideal we will check into that first off i think we will do the quarterly uh, the half year i think is uh, the quarterly is also very long but half year maybe i don't know maybe it's a bit too too stretched but um it depends it depends here you can see here we actually i'll just remove the small term stuff there you can see big nice candle nice volume again breaking the 26 here was just ideal you know that i followed the 26 dollar level very closely horizontally it was the the time here where we you know we came confirmed a bear market right there in 2013 uh, we had the the golden rail we had a little bit of an inverted head and shoulders here internally 26 was the big moment in time for silver where we are breaking out in my opinion going for the next big leg up here um silver looks absolutely fantastic still in my opinion and um and yeah closing you know below 30 i would have preferred above obviously but um but again here we have in my opinion still full-on bullish there's nothing wrong with silver right now here we can quickly look at the at the weekly again we pierced 30 and now we are in a tiny tiny bull flag here uh, for for silver we have support at 28.8 29 here uh, hopefully we hold there uh, that would be ideal um, good again here gold on the quarterly there's absolutely nothing i'm just going to remove it here all the small lines there because they are very again here yes we had a bit of a, we have a wick at the top here on the quarterly so definitely the one to take out is roughly 2450 um, again green candle up nicely uh, closed roughly at i think you know the 50 percent you know of the candle uh, big breakout there you know at 2075 big beautiful inverted head and shoulders the target is roughly here at 2650 so we have some way to go and that also perfectly aligns with the long-term golden trend there I'm, I'm expecting gold to hit there there um, also you can see here gold um, again sideways action looks good a lot of people are talking about you know the inverted head and shoulders there excuse me the head and shoulders pattern but also, if you go to the daily, there's also, you know, like a bullish, you know, kind of, you know, um, set up here. So it, it, it can go either way. We shall see here, uh, definitely. So gold and silver, long term, really, 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 really good. Um, and this is my opinion. It's the start of something big here. And gold will rally for a long period of time. In my opinion, this is the first, the second and then we'll have the, the the third big you know move here very shortly within a couple of years uh, we will have a big spike here in my honest opinion for gold the gold to silver ratio we will look at here i want to quickly go just a tad bit you know down here in the uh, in the time frames this golden trend line here was broken right there we are breaking down retesting let's zoom in here so you can see something so you have a chance to see what i'm meaning here we are breaking down retesting as we speak so 
it could be that we're going all the way up to the green here with that bigger you know that channel break down here so we could go all the way up to roughly 84 but again short term here we are definitely getting a bit if we just take that you can see we are definitely you know within a bearish pendant here a bearish setup it should roll over at some point in time maybe it does it now or we need to go a tad higher before we break so hugely bullish on gold and silver there is nothing wrong with the with those two we will quickly skip next here into the uh, into palladium again we have broken the blue uptrend here the channel uh, also below the big you know 1100 that is a big number to get back above uh, but if we look in on the weekly here you can actually see that we are actually having a real good attempt of putting in a, bo a, a, a bottom here again uh, very very um, uh, what's it called you know, volatile down here it's not a bottom pattern per se but still the momentum is definitely slowing down RSI is also coming up a bit here but it could be anyone's guess in my opinion still uh, as long as we hold here you know 850 to 900 it's all good it, it really is all good so uh, what's that doing there now oh, there it is good um, if it doesn't hold here again we have a long-term golden trend line at roughly 800 a tad below uh, and that is where you know you should be start to to add to your to add or buy a full long position there uh, if we get all the way down to to here in my opinion and we start to see it bounced that's a uh, big support for palladium does it really well the miners has also responded really, really well to, to the palladium and, and platinum chart, which is good. Long-term platinum here, getting above 1,050 to like 1,100, that is when you should become full-on bull mode for platinum. Uh, we can look at the three monthly here. Great green candle. Actually, when looking at it here, you can also see that actually here, roughly 1,000, no surprise, big round number is you know resistance for now since we're below uh we actually tagged you know we have a you can see here we have uh, go away go away with you we have the wig there tagging the neckline this is just a big invert head and shoulders it should be that we break out and we rally here uh i think within the next quarter yeah the, within the next quarter we should rally uh at least break above and then set up for the big move here for, for platinum platinum copper big quarter for copper here we broke the four dollar level down here and then we rallied into five dollar yes we overshot a bit but that was also the initial target for us coming all the way back down all the way back down you can see it here the four dollar resistance break retest massive rally into roughly five dollars up here and uh, we are gonna, we are now coming down support here at this pivot high here and we are finding a tiny bit but it's still very early to to call anything but you you, you can argue again that we have some sort of of wedge pattern coming in here so if we start to break again that is a good chance to see a bounce here how high is anyone's guess but definitely big support here at roughly 4.33 uh, which we also discussed on the way down here that 4.33 is probably where we're going and now we're stopping uh, hopefully again not confirmed or anything but definitely look out for that level um, what else should we check here we uh, I think we should check into oil because oil is at a major major crossroad um, you can see here basically we broke down here we retested it we snapped back and now we are And now we are all the way up here again into three heavy resistances major long-term resistances it takes a lot of effort a lot of hard hard work to get through here for oil if it does we will rally very quickly into roughly into the 90s however we need to get past that first we have a blue horizontal line here roughly 82 to 83 big big horizontal resistance uh, support and resistance but since we are below it is resistance we have the green uptrend here which we broke down that's still resistance and then obviously the big golden rail here so 
what level do we need to get above? Um, in my opinion, to be all clear, we should get, you know, into the, you know, 84 roughly. Then I'm, then I'm starting to be really, you know, really, really interested uh, in the long term to the upside. However, if we cannot clear, we could actually see a very sharp move down to roughly 65. Uh, not in a straight line, obviously, but again, that opens up the possibility to, to you know, basically oil losing um, roughly 20% here. So uh, ETFs, let's check them here. Uh, URA, we will just quickly start with the, um, with the, um, what's it called? The SIL, the, the SIL miners. Uh, big wick there on top, but we have broken, guys, in my opinion. We have broken the golden downtrend here, same as over here and there. So we are setting up something big. Volume is good. Uh, would I have preferred to have... Why is it so messed up? Like, let's say, uh, like a bigger body here on the uh, on the candle. Of course, again, uh, closing at a tad below the middle section. Okay, but we have broken out. And again, if... Uh, I think, you know, in this quarter we are getting into, I think still will do really well. Maybe not the first, depending, but maybe not the first month. We might have some issues the first two weeks to a month. But then I think into August we will rally heavily. And we could actually see silver going into the 40s. Um, because when silver runs, it runs. So uh, what is the next big target? Again, yes, we are below here again. So a little bit of resistance at 33. However, the big target in the short term, I have longer term targets to the upside, you know, because I'm, I think I have a good, a good read on silver where it's going. But this right here, that red zone at roughly 50, if we get there and you are more into the short term stuff, taking profit there makes a lot of sense because I think we will pull back and then eventually break. But so SILJ looks even better in my opinion. Again, we have also cleared it here. Beautiful. Uh, the target, the next target is the upper um resistance line here the fourth touch at roughly 15. overall silver miners looks really good yes we have come down for the past six weeks or so ever since we we broke out we retested it we rallied it again we could actually see a move all the way back down to yet another test here at roughly you know ten dollars give or take but uh, we have done all the hard work i assume if we add in the we have here the 30 week moving average and also the volume notes are the bigger ones are below us. We're actually sitting at one right now here at, at roughly 11. Uh, but overall, the path of least resistance for the silver miners is up. Believe it or not here. Uh, the GDX hasn't broken out just yet here on the... Uh, on any time frame actually. You can see here one, we have two, three, fourth we touched here. Again, in my opinion, it's just a matter of time before we break, um, and then we shall see where we go. But still, very close to like a 15-year long breakout here for the for the gold miners. Very, very close, actually. Uh, looking at the um, the juniors, gold juniors, you can see here we we broke out of this four-year triangle here. Beautiful, fantastic volume. Still the same, so not completely. You know, it is good, but again, a little bit more volume would have been great. Uh, sometimes you, yeah, well, you cannot have it all. Long-term trend on here, we actually pierced above and, and came back down. So also we need to to basically get above, uh, basically we need to get above roughly 50 here to be fully in the clear. Uh, so we need like 10% roughly, uh, ah, maybe a bit more, 7%, excuse me, 10% um, to become really bullish. But that that, that four-year triangle breakout is very good. I really like what I see there. And now we just need the long-term time, you know, the long-term trends to, to, to get taken out. Good. Now to everyone's love and hate relationship. Uh, that is um, uranium, obviously. Uh, I don't know, again, if mentioned that if there were a lot of um, you know, rebalancing here, but basically we had a trend line here which we can copy and you can actually see here that this was the more clear one with a bit of a fakie here all the way down touching there there and then we broke hit the parallel and came very hard down a very ugly candle in my opinion to end the week very very ugly um it's not over yet obviously but again 
this huge reversal. You can actually see it on the one hour here. Uh, opening candle, tag the parallel, and then just one way street basically. Um, so I don't know if, if there were a lot of, again, people on Twitter saying that, you know, often the big firms, they rebalance here into the end of uh, the first half and then they will, you know, rebalance and add into the first period of the, the second half. I don't know, we shall see here. But definitely I had some high hopes uh, for today, given that we had a tiny bit of hope yesterday with that little bit of a peak there. And then when we start to rally, I was like, okay, this could be really nice. And then just, we came down hard, pretty hard. We actually have a tiny gap there, you can see. So um, so there is a lot of resistance on the way. Um, but we shall see here for, uh, for uranium, the big component is actually Cameco with a mega one hourly fake out here, all the way down again. You know my take on things. If we have a fake out, you often get a rally all the way to the other side of whatever structure, you know, it broke or it, it made a false breakout as, you know, so breakout there, very, very nasty day, just selling all the way, basically for Cameco. And Cameco is, you know, 15% roughly, uh, you know, weighted into the URA and UNM. So obviously it got taken down quite a bit there. Otherwise, it's just a mixed bag, mostly red, but again, we have greens somewhere in there um, for uranium for the day. Um, I actually thought this week, looking at it from a weekly point of view, as I talked about with members, uh, you can see here that is a nasty, um, excuse me, that is the, uh, I want to show you the URM here. Um, we have a red week here again. I said, you know, the direction for this week is probably going to, to dictate the next month or two here. Um, I'm not quite sold yet. Again, we haven't broken that 28.4. But with this daily candle, yeah, well, we shall see here again. It's not over, but we have this little, we have this little triangle going on here. Uh, basically, again, next week we will either start to really come down or we can actually break there. So it's getting very, very high volatility squeeze here. And uh, and yeah. Well, we love uranium, don't we? Um, a bad thing here also on the U.UN. We had this double bottom in play here at 25 and a half. Again, we rallied, we bounced, we rallied. We, we also called that on Twitter with the, that, that we're going to see a bounce. How high, we didn't know. But basically, we just ran into the resistance line coming down here and now we're bounced again small bounce and then i think the spot etf is about to break down from this 25 here uh, we can try to do like a measured fib move here we take the top to the bottom and then the bull trap if it is a bull trap you know we are potentially it, it aligns up perfectly with that pivot high over there you can see roughly 20 so and also, if we get down to roughly 20 here, again, that's also roughly with the alignment of uh, of that trend line there. Especially if we, you know, this is a parallel, if we add it, you know, to the wick, basically the at most, the outliers here, I think spot could be in for a 20% drop here. Definitely, it, it opens up the possibility of a 20% drop here in the U.UN. And you know, if that's the case, you should also see maybe not 20%, but at least 10% down in the uranium spot price. I don't know where that will take us, by the way. Um, but as you can see here, if we are to go all the way down to roughly 20, let's say, that means that the next quarter, roughly, for uranium is going to be one you would prefer to forget really, really quickly. Um, but again, mega, mega support here. And if we get that, if we get, if we get down to the lower trend line here of the parallel, then again, it should also be where we start to, you know, to, to make the higher moves. Um, again, that will be in, you know, late 2024, if that is the case. Um, so yeah, overall, very bad, <laughs> very bad. Um, What's it called? Very bad week, month for uh, 
more uranium. It could be better. It could be a lot better, to be honest. So it is what it is. Anything else we should check in here just to quickly. Yes, I want to show you Bitcoin here again. I have been showing. I've been talking about this. Let's just uh, let's just uh, no, I don't want to remove it. Let me just quickly go to the let's just take this one here. Bitcoin. Good. I'm still in the camp, if you know my work, that this, if you showed this, you know, to anyone who are in the, the dot com bubble, they would say, oh, that's the Amazon chart, because Amazon had the exact, more or less the exact same pattern at the, at, like this. And you know what happened here? Again, I'm still in the camp until we can clear, you know, roughly with conviction clearing 75k. I am in the camp that we are going to see a massive crypto bubble here. Again, I'm sure that the bigger names uh, will prevail. Uh, and the ones who, you know, prevails, you know, this insanely big drop that we could potentially see, they will also be the ones who will do insanely well. Because basically what Amazon did, if, if this was Cameco, excuse me, Amazon, you know, it dropped 95% or so. And then, you know, it, it just rallied, you know, heavily into where we are now. So again, here, if this is the case that we are about to see this mega washout in crypto, you could within, let's say, roughly five years, three years, depending on how fast it goes, you can pick up a lot of good, very good, you know, um, let's say you, you can pick up a lot of crypto at a very low price and with a good probability that they will serve you insanely well and that's where you will be making all your money right how low is 20 excuse me 95 percent from here oh well not that low maybe but again we could see 4k if that is the case we could see 4k so if we get the, get down there to, the, to 4k you you load the boat so much you have no idea um again with monday that you can obviously withstand to lose but again if the fractal continues basically what what um, what amazon did was like this right all the way down and then it started to go higher after a few years so uh, a bit of a long talk there on bitcoin but i'm just want to show you here uh, again we could be rally here oh sure of course but again until we get that you know rally away from the 75k this is a, a, an Amazon fractal in the making. Again, same bubble, same thoughts, same greed, all that good stuff. You have the three, you have the high here where you pierced it, again, also on the Amazon chart, and then the third pierce you got below, and then that's game over. That's my take on crypto. Uh, very bearish until we can clear that 75K. Very, very bearish. Um, and again, I'm not hating on Bitcoin, as you know, I made, in percentage terms, I made my best trade here from 10 to roughly 55. So um, again, crypto, hopefully I can get it, you know, down here below 10K. That would be amazing. Uh, that would be truly amazing. And that will, if that is the case and it repeats the Amazon, the Amazon fractal, you will be set for life if, if, if you if you can, if, if you could do that, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Again, nothing is certain, uh, you know, hundred percent, but still. Um, so good. A lot, a long talk on Bitcoin for some reason. Um, uh, let's check here. I want to check the uh, the Nasdaq very quickly here. I don't have much on this template, but we can just see where we are overall. Overall, Nasdaq bullish. I mean, th this is the three month candlesticks. There's nothing to be bearish about on a longer term scale here. Um, again, could be been for like a pullback here, sure. But overall, until we start to see some negative, you know, views here on the three monthly, I feel the tech looks looks uh, looks quite a, quite all right to be honest. SP five hundred on a three month time frame still fine yes we have some negative divergence meaning higher highs lower momentum or lower rsi um so yeah 
I don't think I have much more to, to look into. Uh, a bit of a shame here with the URA today. It really messed up with my mood here. If we could, uh, I'm not saying that I, I, I was expecting like a 5% you know, rally, but if you could just stay here, you know, close to 30, that would have been so great to be honest. Um, but hey, it is what it is, guys. Have a great day and always like, subscribe, follow me, Twitter, YouTube, and Substack. Uh, for more details, especially Substack, that's where I get make the daily videos, uh, more or less always daily videos, by the way. Have a great day, have a great weekend, and hopefully we will, you know, queue, excuse me, the second half of this year will, will benefit us in Uranium, uh, hopefully. Uh, the first start of 2024 has been sideways, uh, and that is, I think for most people, you know, the choppiness is it's maybe worse you know than if we're just correcting here like we did you know in 2021 we just corrected here healthy correction there we banned people they i think they can see it going down but this going sideways more or less ay 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 it's not uh, people don't like that that is something that i have learned um or watched really um but you can see here in my opinion as long as we hold the yellow uptrend and roughly, you know, 27, 26, maybe, yeah, in that range, we are good. Breaking on a quarterly basis above 20, 32, game on, big time, we are going to see an easy double for URA. Good, guys, I can talk, I can talk forever here. Have, have, a, uh, have a great day and um, stay safe, all that good stuff. Cheers, bye.